Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to say. <clears throat> the Barge Inn uh, was debated tonight and discussed in the Parish Council of Alton Barnes. And <clears throat> the fact that um, a rather greedy land grab and uh, a rather greedy wishing to take the gallery and community space away from the community to turn it into a house for no better reason than you know because because they want to and yeah they didn't exactly explain themselves with why they wanted to do this stuff very well in the application um, but I think it was understood by all including the parish council who deliberated amongst themselves as well it was deliberated that it should be rejected so Pietro and Barbarossa, uh, Tomiucci, or whatever her friggin' name is, um, they will be informed um, of the outcome of that, probably. Um, it'll go into the Parish Council meeting minutes, and it will also then form part of the planning application submissions. So basically the locals have all said no and uh, this is a good good step. Um, it's not the whole way because we still have to be vigilant. Um, the fact that the parish council has said no doesn't always necessarily mean that the big council will say no but we have to impress upon the big council now and we have to make sure that we get documentation to them so they fully understand the position because whereas locals understand the position with the barge in <clears throat> and the apparent hostile takeover which uh, seems to have taken place with the Italians closing down the campsite and alienating all the customers apparently if you want to have a Christmas meal there at this superior Italian restaurant if you want to have a Christmas meal there it will be 60 pounds per head yeah and the TripAdvisor reviews basically warning people not to go there and eat and they want 60 quid a head yeah living in a dream world yeah they're living in a fucking dream world so anyway um, I'm glad to say that uh, at least we've had some success with the parish council um, it must be said I think they would have probably come to this decision all by themselves uh, but I think the fact that the community has actually stepped up to show um, a, a fair bit of interest. Uh, there were 18 people at the um, the meeting tonight, and um, they were all people who uh, clearly cared about the pub, uh, which is something that I don't think the current owners seem to really uh, do very much. They're not. They don't give a toss about the place really. Um, they're just trying to turn it into a house. Um, but I think they've just failed. So anyway, that's the good news, and I just thought I'd let you know is that um, the first round is um, is there, and anyone who sees this, you know, don't forget you you still need to let the you still need to let the council know with your objections because you know funnier things have happened. You know, the council could just say, well, we don't understand why the 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 local um, parish council object we don't understand this and they might say we we allow it you know so uh, we have to put our points of view down and send them into the council to be noted as the objections they have to be noted so please please do it still if anybody's thinking what I'm saying here is a you know a sign that you don't have to do it please don't take it that way please remember that you do need to still make your objections and I will be still making some uh, documents available to the council to help them understand you know the background to all of this so um, anyway but good news it is good news but still remain vigilant please send in those objections so thanks very much goodbye